Lina, a little bit more of a heavy hitter here. Crystal mm. Maiden, not a really good aggressive triangle. Oh, to trouble top oh, lane. Top. There There's is. your first blood. Ruby getting caught out in the acid spray. But, um, it's coming. Just goes through the entire creep wave. Both seven, you'll get cogs off. And that old light of heaven there. Sunlight's it coming in to help seven, Mop, and actually the Sprout, Bone 7! It, it, there's no Fade Ball damage, but there's still the kill! Light of Evans able to get a follow-up here. But that meant the Sing Sing is the one who gets all the experience from that, so he's now up to level 4.5 and, and blow your brain. lost to a dual lane. Um, I mean, granted, the Tornado put him down, but the fact that they gave up first blood against an Alchemist Spirit Breaker, double melee combo, Mm -hmm. Not a good sign. So they're going to have to just farm up quite a bit. Um, that's why they're throwing oh, this quite defensive far. tri lane. Is he going to get this timing right? Oh, he baited the phase oh, shift. Oh, he missed it. He baited the phase shift. You Got it perfectly. Me. And takes the kill on the puck in the middle lane. But Line of Ever is now going to come in to try and find another kill here. Puts down the Sprout. Blinks off cooldown right now. They want to find something. And Eternal Envy is going to actually give him what they want. Concoction will fly, but already with the Frost Nova, the Puck Goldie, Pylite Die, sending Eternal Envy back out. Might have enough time. Is there going to be damage? There's enough. The Prophet Orman damage bounces through just at the last point. So they get Chen, and now in comes Bone 7. Line of Evan goes down. Supports there from Quoid for a double kill for him. And he's looking for more. Gonna find Vanscore in the corner. He needs to scream this and maybe even blink away to safety after. That's exactly what he does. Triple kill for a haste of Quoid. Without that, without that follow up. Oh wow, is he gonna go for more? The set of blast? <laughs> yeah. Blink. He's gonna get an ultra here. Needs to scream. Sunlight keeps the, di the distance, and now scream and attack. He gets the ultra kill. It's gonna get jumped on, but he's gonna push back in. Vanscore's coming in with a nice little slow. They may be able to get a counter kill. Actually, Light of Heaven might get out. Bone Seven's got the face boots though, so they're gonna trade a one for one here. Bone Seven should be able to get out though. Uh, he's on the run. He's not gonna get any any, any kind of help though. Eternal Levy was in the spot on lane too. Maybe he won't get out of here. Pops down the cogs. It's Sunlight oh, who's holding him there in the trees. That look through the corner. Bone Seven that attack from the tower is almost gonna be enough. Oh. Twenty eight and two <laughs> HP. The stick just keep him up. He's gonna rocket on his tail. He needs life points. Koifer jumps in. Quad Poldy stinks. Get rid of the rocket. Get rid of the rocket. The tower is attacking it. If he keeps running like this, the tower might actually have enough damage, is it? The, the tier He's 3 tower it. will get rid of it. He's already got enough health. He beats the bottom lane. And now, out they jump. Silence and Puck Oldie on the Queen of Pain. And now, takes the stun, can blink away, but not after being frost bitten up, and will go down. Prop only bounces through, and Sing Sing, he charged in, got a stun up on two, and Crystal Maven drops the almond. More than enough damage to kill off Sing Alchemist. Sing. And that in itself has to be questioned, because Scandal now going to come in. They find Eternal Envy. Is it worth the puck, Goldie? There's already a charge coming in, and there's Sunlight who stole that from SB. And he's looking to do a little bit more here. Can't throw him up onto the cliff, and Envy turns around to fight. This time, the hook shot. Perfect from Bone 7. It splits Empire in thrice in light of heaven. Try and bounce him around here. And there's going to be an ulti out from Sing Sing. Almost bouncing him into the, into the mud golems to deny him off. And Crystal Maven drops out her ulti. Sing Sing going to look for a bash. Can't find one just yet. Quap Oldie destroys the puck. And they move over towards Vanscore as well. And Vanscore, one more attack there. Maybe it's going to be two. Yeah, it's going to be two from Kuedva. Like Donkey Kong. Top TP's coming in. Three of them, in fact. And as well as the charge coming in from SB. Eternal Envy into the Shadow Blade and Concoction. He sees Vanscore around the corner. Vanscore, shortest ult of his life. Instantly knew it was a big mistake. And Envy got the stun on the Vanscore. But that Quap Aldi, it's going to hit hard. But at the same time... Huge amount of damage being dealt over towards Kaipi. It's a very good thing they already got that Aegis to the Immortal. Because now Eternal Envy comes back to life again. But Shadow Blade has to be used, but he's still in range of the Sentry Ward. So we end up getting killed up by Blow Your Brain. And that was just before he was able to get that Chemical Rage back off cooldown again. And now a full BKB purchased up by the Queen of Pain. And she's looking for the extra stragglers. Sunlight's in the corner. He can TP out. Blow your brain. Do you really want to try and fight this? There's a charge over to the light of heaven. Into the corner. Sunlight now stole charge. Who's he going to return it on to? Charge straight back towards Sing Sing. Light of heaven. Can't TP out. The, sh the shadow strike from Queen of Pain. Able to do that damage. And now, well, BKB will pop. And Sunlight, quick scream. And they're moving over towards Blow Your Brain. But it's now Quop versus Blow Your Brain. Sting's there. But it's still got the Chen army helping him out. They have to back up a little bit more. Hellbear, where's your troll? Oh, blink oh. away! 67 light points he went down to. It's basically now or never. And Bone 7's already gonna get a little bit of a, a spot off. Vanscore's moving up the hill, and Clockwork just almost point blank runs in. Hooks him up, 
the mech charge from Vainscore, and then the oh, Frostbite. Wow. He's going to live through all of this. The quad body, though, catches him on the edge. Prophet Ultimate and the send back. Sing Sing is getting himself away to safety. Bone Seven's going to TP himself out for being stunned up. There was no clockwork. Did he try and latch down that line? It looked like he did. Yeah. There's already a charge coming out. It's coming on Scandal, so he's got some really good vision here. And the Colts going to push Scandal back, bumps into Ruby. The phase shift saved him there, but the quad body hits very hard. Blow your brain. He will drop down. Pylai die. Well, he's not even going to help out. Doesn't even need to help out because right now it is Koifa. So you could only TP where it's visible. Bottom lane. There's going to be a blow your brain going down right now. Envy just pops the BKB. The charge came in as well. Vanscore. Well, that's three hits. Queen of Pain gets the last one in. And now they're just going to keep on running in after a minute. So uh, Nether Strike actually got stolen by the Rubik. So we can use that ultimate, but it won't have time. Quab just throws the ulti. Scandal will evade the stun from Eternal, Eternal Envy to the top lane. But then again, if they can get themselves a kill, like I'm blowing your brain like Eternal Envy is attempting right now, maybe they can. They've already got one down. Puck on the sideline. And there it is. Double kill. Now they can pitch a tent. And they will start cleaning up the buildings here of Team Empire. And like Light of Heaven's looking for a trade-off. And Eternal Envy gets a double. Whoa, whoa, Envy, Envy. There's like free gold right there. One, two, three, four hits. And uh, double kill for him. And GG well played. Kai P will advance themselves to the final. They will still be represented from the CIA. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. That's a pretty amazing record by them.